Washington State game on Friday. Um, for us, you know, we knew it was going to be a difficult match, good matchup. Um, you know, obviously we're very happy with the result, um, getting the win 2-1. But, you know, I, I think it was uh, two very different halves. You know, in the first half we had a lot of the ball. Um, we had a lot of possession. And then in the second half they um, – definitely picked up the pressure so the game changed a little bit um you know i have to give washington state you know a lot of credit they're a good team and um you know it ended up being a game that went down you know to the wire because they scored a goal they got a penalty shot in the second half so um you know we had to deal with that um and then we also created some more chance in the second half as well um but overall you know i think as a group, we were we were happy with the overall performance and um, dealing with two very different types of halves. The game on Sunday against UW, um, four one for us was you know I think for us I, I told the the girls after the game I feel it was probably our best performance over ninety minutes. Um, very consistent play, and um, we created a, a number of good opportunities. Um, you know, and to get a 4-1 result against a strong Huskies team is, is a credit to how hard the girls have been working. Um, you know, I think that the Sunday games are always tough. Um, and for us to come out the way we did in the first half, we really focused in on uh, this week leading up to the games, being ready from the start. You know, and I feel like our team responded well, and we did that um, even on Sunday in the morning. Brittany Oljar, our redshirt freshman, you know, she's been working really hard, and um, she has been playing, getting a lot of time. And, and this weekend, you know, she she got the start, and in both games she played very well. On on Sunday, she scored two goals, her first two goals of her career, and you know we're very very happy for her. You know she deserves them. She she worked really hard to get into those scoring positions. But she provides us a lot on both sides of the ball, you know, offensively and defensively. So we're very happy for her. Chelsea Buckland this weekend, um, she she really played very, very well um, for what we know she can do. Um, she obviously got the game-winning goal on Friday. And on Sunday, she also finished off a nice free kick. And, you know, and the fact that she's getting honored this week nationally is, is, a, is you know, deserved. Um, when she's on, she's very difficult to handle. And, you know, for us, it's just continually uh, working with her um, for every weekend to understand what the opponents are going to be doing and, and how she can be the most effective. Oregon. The combination with Jenna and Chelsea for, for our staff, you know, myself, I think it's a, it's a good combination. Um, they Soccer-wise, um, their abilities really complement each other well. Um, it makes it difficult for defenders to be able to contain both of them at the same time. Um, so having them both out there when they're firing away and, and really playing well is, is fun to watch. And, you know, it is, it is fun because they, they are competitive. You know, they both want to do well. And, you know, I think that um, having that healthy competitiveness between them or between teammates is, is a good thing. Stanford on Friday um, is obviously going to be a, an exciting game for everybody. You know, they're the number one team in the country. And for us, you know, we really have nothing to lose. So we're going to go after them um, right from the start. You know, we're at home and we're going to be aggressive in our approach to the game. <coughs> and, um, you know, we're going to go over the tactics and everything this week and look at uh, game footage to see what we need to do tactically. But overall, the mentality of our group is going to be uh, building off of this weekend that we just need to be aggressive in our approach and, and really take the game to, uh, to them. For the game on Sunday against Cal, we know they're, they're going to be a, a strong team as well. You know, I think they're ranked um, 15th or something in the country right now, um, at least they were last week. So, you know, we know that they're going to be a, a tough opponent as well. And again, the key for us and for Sunday match is just um, getting ourselves mentally ready for that game especially after you play Stanford on a Friday, um, getting refocused um, to understand that, you know, the game on Sunday is also an important match, and we have to make sure that we're mentally ready um, and sharp for, for that match.